All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad, teaching his word and sincerity and truth. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And as always, Lord's willing, I pray these lessons will be edifying to those of the whole four elect. May it build upon your salvation, all right, toward Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, and this lesson is going to be entitled, Ask the Lord for Strength. All right, don't be afraid to ask the Lord for strength. You know, we have to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, for strength. Okay, and strength is, you know, strengthening your spirit, all right, so that you're able to bear, you know, what comes before you. You know, you need to be able to withstand the, the wiles of the devil, which is Satan, all right? You need strength in order to endure, you know, this great fight of affliction all the way to the end, all right? Without the Lord, you know, we're nothing, you know? We're not able to do what, you know, the Lord acquired us to do without his strength. So we must ask the Lord for strength. All right, so I got a few precepts I put together. And um, this is Philippians chapter 4 and 13. It says, I can do all things through Hamashiach Yahawashai, which strengthened me. All right, so we can do all things through Yahawashai. All right, Yahawashai is the one, our Savior, who gave up his life, all right, for, his, for Israel, in particular the elect. All right, so through him, we able to get back to the Most High. Without Yahawashai, you know, you're, you're nothing, man. All right. Yahweh Shai is the is the king. Yahweh Shai is our savior. He the one that gave up his body as a living sacrifice. All right. He spilled his blood. OK, for the for the remission. All right. For the Israelite sins. All right. And through the elect. All right. Who the Lord have chosen, you know, they able to get back to the most high, you know, and that's through Yahweh Shai. So it says I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengthened me. All right, that's straight to the point. This is Isaiah chapter 41 and 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thou power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. All right, so we're not supposed to fear the wicked. Okay, you don't fear, you know, demons. It says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Meaning the Lord is with us, man. You know, the scriptures say, when two or three are gathered in his name, he are in the midst of them. So when we out there camping, you know, we out there doing our thing and teaching, prophesizing, just know that the Lord is with you. All right. And even on your daily stroll, you know, if you stand in the spirit of the Lord, constantly putting up prayers, constantly doing what you're supposed to do. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. It says, be not, dis be not dismayed. All right. Because you got, you got, uh. Things that will come against you, you know, to, to try your faith. You know, all of us are being tried. All right. We're being tried through the fire. So it says, be not dismayed for I am thou God, which represents I am thou power. You know, our, our power core, it comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Our strength comes from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. All right. So let's get to the next one. This is Deuteronomy chapter 31 and 6. It says, be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord, thou power, he is that doeth, sorry, he is that doeth, go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. All right, so all of our steps, you know, one thing you want to pray and ask the Lord for is to guide your steps in righteousness. You know, we all uh, uh, come short of the glory of the Most High, but if we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to guide our steps in righteousness, then, you know, we, don't, we shouldn't fear. All right, so it says, be strong and of a good courage. All right, so you want to be strong and of a good courage, man. It says, fear, thou, fear not nor be afraid of them, all right? And that's going toward Esau, all right? The, the wicked, 
Don't be afraid of them. For the Lord, thou power, he is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. All right. So the most high is not going to forsake you. OK. And that's and that comes with the faith and trust, you know, that you have in your how about you, I was shy. All right. You know, these are the scriptures that's, you know, it's strictly straight to the point, not more for so too much elaboration. You know, it's just strictly to the point, you know. And um, what the, the Lord told Job, don't gird up thy loins. All right. Because we in those times where 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 Satan is going to come at you. All right. We're in those times where we're approaching Jacob's trouble. You know, the Lord said, count the cost. So we have to be built up and ready. All right. So these are scriptures that straight to the point, you know, and showing you that the Lord is with you. You just got to have faith. All right. So it says be strong and of a good courage. So let's get to Isaiah 40 and 31. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and shall walk and not faint. All right. So it says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And the key thing is waiting. You know, we're suffering uh, hell. All right. But the key thing is waiting. You know, our job is to wait upon Yahweh Shai. You know, and the scriptures say, wait upon the Lord Yahweh uh, wait upon the Lord uh, shall renew their strength. So he's going to renew our strength, man. He's going to quicken our spirits. You know, this is that spiritual, this is that spiritual power. All right. Soon we're going to be man. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, we're man. All right. But soon we're going to be more than just men. All right. We're going to have that power, man. It says, and they shall mount up with wings as equals. Brother's going to be able to fly. Can you imagine you know, the strength that we're going to have, the, the power that we're going to uphold, you know, when we wait upon the Lord. It says they shall run and not be weary. Your brother's going to be able to run and never get tight. It says, and they shall walk and not faint, you know. So in these latter days, the scriptures talk about how we have to be a pilgrim. All right. Be as be as pilgrim, you know. You're not going to be stationed up in one, 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 one section one part and um and set it up waiting for the Lord, more than likely you're gonna be moving. You know, you're gonna have to move. All right. Waiting upon the Lord to return, man. Waiting upon those chariots. All right. Waiting upon the destruction. All right. To hit this place. It says uh, Exodus chapter 15 and 2. It says, The Lord Yahweh is my strength and song. All right. And 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 this word, all right, is strength. That's why the scriptures say, blessed is he that readeth. And it's a song. You know, it's that song when you got Jake be having their own songs, you know, that they like. You know, you might start cleaning up, play your song. It's your jam. Well, this is our jam. All right. The truth. It says, the Lord Yahweh is my strength and song. And he has become my salvation. He is my God. And I will prepare him in habitation. My father's God. And I will exhort him. All right. So it says, he is my God, which represents power. I will prepare him in habitation, my father's power, and I will exhort him. And that's what we do daily, man. Always exhorting Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, that's not uh, much, you know, that's not enough that we can do to exhort the name of the Lord. You know, you know that's straight to the point. This is 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. It says, there have no temptation taken you, but such is as, but such is common to man. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. All right. So it says there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. So there's nothing new under the sun. There's nothing, no brother um, going through something new. We all go through the same shit, man. All right. It says, there is no temptation taking you, but it's such as is common to man. All right. So it says, but the most high is faithful. So showing you no matter what you go through, the most high is faithful. All right. It says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. So the Lord won't allow Satan to destroy you. 
All right. The most high knows our strength. He knows our weakness. He knows exactly our inner thoughts. He knows exactly, you know, what, what we're thinking about, you know. All right. It says, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. All right. Because the most high is well balanced. It says, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. So whatever we go through, we're able to bear it. We're able to get through it. And if we wait patiently upon the Lord, then guess what? We'll be able to escape it. All right. That's to the point. It says Ephesians 6 and 10. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. All right. That's to the point. Is it straight up? Finally, brought my brethren, be strong in the Lord. So we got to be strong in the Lord. You can't be weak. You know, you can't be weak minded. It's the thing about you being humble and lowly. You know, that's another thing to stay humble and lowly. You know, do what is uh, asked of you to do. All right. Being humble and lowly, you know, taking the low route. All right. And just teaching this truth. So it says, finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord. So we have to be strong in the Lord. In order to be strong in the Lord, you got to pray. You know, none of us in the flesh, you know, can, um, none of in the, none of us in the flesh could please the Most High. All right? That's why the Lord renews our spirits. He renews our mind. You know, because the flesh, we want you to be more on the emotional side or more of what you think you feel. But the spirit, all right? It's, it's the strength where the, sp the spirit will be telling you, look, chill out. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. You got to be very strong in the Lord, man, mentally, physically, and, and spiritually, man. It says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. All right. So anyway, First Chronicles 1611, seek the Lord and his strength, seek his face continually. And that face represents the Bible, all right? So you want to seek his, seek the word continually, man. You know, you don't pick up the word, you know, for the newly fruit coming in. You know, you don't just pick up the word every Saturday. You know, you pick up the word every day. You know, you're reading scriptures every day. The, the, the Lord's voice is flowing through your, your spirit every day, you know, constantly looking at videos, watching brothers and learning scriptures and topics. It says, seek the Lord. That's seeking, man. It says, and his strength. What is the strength? The word. The scriptures say, the knowledge and wisdom shall be thou stability. All right. So the, the word is your strength, man. And also the Lord said, he's the comforter. All right. He's the strength. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. All right. Now this is 2 Timothy chapter 1 and 7. For the most high have not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So the most high and give us the spirit of fear, man. You know, you start bitching up and, and, and getting scared for what? Now nah, the Lord is strengthening our minds, man. We about to go into something we never went through before. Esau is that roaring lion. The scriptures say he has uh, revelations 12 and 12. All right. He's coming down having great wrath because he knoweth that he have but a short time. So we can't have the spirit of fear. All right. We got to be built up. All right. All these things, you know, all us brothers, man, these devils are, are, um, are plotting, man, sitting like a, a roaring lion, you know, uh, squatting, waiting for his prey. You know, that's the Psalms, the 10th chapter, man. You know, this devil, he's uh, he's he's out for the for the elect. But through our strength, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, the Lord will hold us, hold us fast, man. It says, for the most high have not given us the spirit of fear. So if you have fear, you want to pray, man. You want to definitely be praying and fasting and asking the Lord to take away that fear from you. All right. It says, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. All right. Because you got you got that one eye. All right. Which is fixed on your heart. You're not wavering. All right. You're not. um, You're not being. um, uh, What's the word? You're not wavering in the truth. You're not being seduced in the spirit by any other doctrine. You have a sound mind, all right, which is toward Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, so this is Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? 
Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. All right, now was in the time of Joshua. So this is applies today. He said, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For, for the Lord thou power is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. So wherever we go, wherever we walk, wherever we been, you know, where, where we're going to, we got to be strong in the Lord and of good courage, man. And trust, have faith in the Lord, man. All right. So first, second Corinthians 12, nine uh, through 10, it says, uh, and he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is to is made perfect in weakness. See, he says, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. So, you know, how is strength made perfect? Through weakness. All right. That's why, you know, the Lord, he shows his power through the underdogs, you know, is his uh, small remnant compared to the mighty and the, and the multitude. You know, the most high shows his strength made. It says, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. And we all are weak. You know, we're looking to be strong. You know, we need a healer. We need a savior. You know, we need a physician. All right. You know, we all uh, uh, have that weakness. All right. Because we're in the flesh. But we pray that the Lord strengthen our spirit. You know, give us that strength. You know, we pray for those new bodies, man. It says, most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities for the power of Yahweh Shai may rest upon me. OK, let me read that again. It says, he said unto me, my grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. All right. It says, and that's Paul speaking. It says, most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Yahweh Shai may rest upon me. All right, verse 10, therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches and necessities and persecution and distresses for Yahweh Shai's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. And this is another thing, you know, brothers carry infirmities and, uh, you know, brothers will be persecuted. You know, brothers will be in distress, but it's all for Yahweh Shai's sake, you know, because Yahweh Shai, he went through these things. You know, we're no greater than the master, man. All right. We're, we're just followers of Yahweh Shai. All right. Hoping that the Lord, you know, uh, deems us as the elect and to deliver us, man. Hoping to get up out this hell, man. It says, for when I am weak, then I am strong. All right. So when you brought down, you know, it's the most high that's doing these things. So it's strengthen you. You got to look at everything with the positive charge, the positive energy, man. You know, when you're being brought down, it's to be it's to make you strong. To build well, to excuse me, when the Lord break you down, He's to build. He's gonna build you back up stronger. All right. So this is First Corinthians sixteen thirteen. It says, "Watch ye, stand fast in the faith. Uh, quit, quit you like men, be strong. All right. Stand fast in the faith. Quit you like men, be strong. All right. Deuteronomy twenty and four, for the Lord Yahweh your power." Is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you? All right. So even when these dark desires hit, the Lord is going to fight our enemies. You know, that's why we say from time to time, brothers, you know, we ain't got nothing to worry about. Because at the end of the day, Jacob is up next to rule. All right. Even if we, uh, the scriptures say, be cast into prison, be faithful unto death. Because we're coming right back, man. It says, for the Lord, your power is with you. Excuse me, the Lord your power is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. So really, hey, the Lord, when we, the Lord said, I'm going to destroy them with the spirit of his mouth. That's the time we're in now of speaking his truth. And then he said, with the brightness of his coming, the Lord is going to get busy. He's going to fight you Edomites. He's going to fight you heathens and he's going to get busy. All right. He's going to fight for us. All right. It says Isaiah chapter 40 and 29. And you know how it was when brothers were well, certain, you know, if you had brothers and maybe when you was young and, and um, you'd be outside playing around the block, around the corner and playing with friends. And then somebody tried to, you know, chump you, bully you, take your basketball. And then what you do, you probably too small to fight them. 
So you start crying. Next thing you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to get my brother. I'm going to get my brother. And what you do, you run home. You go tell your older brother. And then what? Your older brother or your brothers start coming around the corner with you, you know, to get your basketball back. <laughs> you know, you feel good. You're like, yeah, what now? And then the other the dude with your basketball starts start bitching up. You know, no, nah, no, nah, it wasn't like that. And your brothers beat his ass. I mean, that's how we feel when it comes to our Lord, Yahweh Shai, man. That's that's our big brother. That's our Lord and sake, our Lord and Savior. All right. Because he's truly coming back to destroy our enemies, man. Um, what was that? Uh, this is Isaiah chapter 40 and 29. It says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. All right. That's to the point. Isaiah uh, 12 and 2. Behold, Yahweh is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Yahweh is my strength and my and my song. He also is become my salvation. Exactly. It says Psalms 27 and 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom I will fear. And that's a thing. You got to fear the Lord. In order to receive strength, you got to fear. It says, and the Lord Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? All right. Hmm. It says Psalm 73 and 26. My flesh and my heart faileth, but the most high is, is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. All right. So these are scriptures that was, you know, straight to the point dealing with strength. And how we got to ask the Lord for strength. We're going to need it in these days to come. All right. Especially through the darkest hours in Jacob's trouble, man. You know, we need it now as we as we go on our daily strolls, man. All right. As we endure this great fight. So I hope this lesson was edifying to those of the whole four elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakwadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. That's scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. Stay strong, brothers.